Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Maze Patrol Tips and Tricks. If this is your first time here, my name is Phil, and I teach people how to set up and run a Mazak CNC lathe while programming it with Maze Patrol. If you guys have suggestions for future videos, or if there is something special you want to see, be sure to let me know down in the comments. This video comes from a viewer request. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to alter the tool change position on a T2 and T3 controlled lathe. Be advised, these parameters will not work with any other control. I have not messed with the tool change position on any other controls, so for those machines, you will have to consult the manual. This video is only for this T2 and T3 control. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, we're gonna go to the parameter page, so push the left button, come over here to parameters, and this is the first screen that comes up. So right here, this is a page out of the book, so this is parameter P2, which controls the tool swing position, and that's what Mazak calls the tool change position for the turret. So right now, Parameter P2 is a number four. So if we look on this screen, well, let's start out with zero. So P2, if it's a zero, it's A according to this. And A means it's the tool clearance position on X and Z. So right here, closest to the workpiece if it's zero. If it's a number one, it's position B, which is up here. Machine zero point on X and the clearance point on Z. Number two is position C, which is over here, is the clearance position on X, but the home position on Z. And number three is D, is the machine home position for X and the home position for Z. So if we have a number four in here, which I do, it's position E, which is over here. And that's a fixed point on X and a fixed point on Z. The way the clearance position works with this controller, the machine will calculate the tool swing position based on the longest go to the tool data screen based on the longest Z and the longest X positions that the controller has in it so that way it gets to the closest part of the workpiece and it's also based on the Z offset for the machine on each program. So depends on the tool load and depends on the Z offset, the machine tool change position is going to keep varying all over the place if the parameter P2 is one of these that's called out as a clearance position. So let me show you those parameters right now. So parameter U1 determines the tool swing clearance on the x-axis as a diameter value. So here's the tool clearance on x, and here U2 is the tool swing clearance on Z. So in my machine, U1 is 196 thousandths and 9 tenths away from the part that it's going to do a tool change and 275 thousandths and 6 tenths on Z. This machine doesn't have a turret, it has a tool changer and the tools come out quite far and I don't like using these parameters. So what I prefer to do is I set parameter P2 at number four, 
and I use this fixed point here on X and fixed point on Z. And the fixed point return position on X is parameter U4 right here as a diameter value and U5 over here for Z. So this is from the machine zero position. So if U4 is zero, which it is in my controller, it's at zero, the tool change position is going to be at X home and it's going to be Z minus seven inches. That's seven with four zeros from the home position. So now if I push the left button and go to the command screen, I look at the machine position and this is what we're talking about. So X is at zero and the X home button down here is lit up and it has a minus seven inches in the command screen for where it's doing its tool change position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change parameter U4 from zero to a minus four inches. So minus four, one, two, three, four input. So that's four inches. And I do not have a part in the chuck. So I'm going to hit cycle start. The machine is going to move to the to new tool change position and then it's going to error out that there's no part in the chuck. The jaws are open. So it moved down to a minus four and a minus seven inches. So that is the machine's new tool change position until I change it. If I change the parameter and change this to minus 10 inches, minus 10, one, two, three, four zeros. So that's a minus 10 inches now. Now we go back to the command screen and hit cycle start. And now the machine moved to a minus 10 inches from Z and minus four inches down from X and stop because it's, it says there's no part in the chuck. So that's its new tool change position. All right, you gotta be careful specifying a manual tool change position. If you have the Z tool change position further closer to the chuck than your boring bar is here, it'll come up and then it's going to rapid to the left instead of to the right. It's going to rapid and it's going to crash the boring bar into your workpiece. And I had a three quarter inch boring bar that I snapped off clean because of this tool change position was, was further in than it should have been. So you got to be very careful with changing this to get closer to the workpiece because if you have a boring bar in your part and now you switch workpieces and now you have a boring bar to use, it, it may crash. So again, be wary about this. So for my machine, most of the time when I'm running, I'm down here at zero, so I have it changing at the X home position and minus seven inches, so it's not gonna hit the tailstock, but it's also not gonna index into the chuck. So now I'll go back to command, hit cycle start, and now it moved back to its minus seven inches and zero on the tool change position. So to recap, that's parameter P2, set at number four, gives me a fixed point 
on X and a fixed point on Z, and that's using parameters U4 and U5. And that's how to set the tool change position on a T2 or T3 control. If you guys like what you see, go ahead and push that subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future videos we have coming out. Also, if you guys have suggestions for future videos, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching.